Good morning, Captains. How are y'all doing? Just want to let y'all know we're about to go up for a promotion to a Vice Admiral. I will also like to point out we're also going to be choosing one of multiple Tier 6 ships. I have already an idea what I'm going to choose for my first Tier 6 ship ship but I'm actually going to do probably I figure something out between now and when I show y'all the ships that I'm planning to do something on um, let's see I will also probably not going to set up my Well, probably won't set up everything, but uh, I just play by ear and let y'all see. Anyway, first things first, let's head over here. And let's get promoted. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Talk to Admiral Quinn. Congratulations. Okay, don't care about that. Now, we got our promotion. Now, we can turn around. Uh, with the earth in the background. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Before I do the 15, I'm going to get this. I claim this and what I'm going to get. Ooh, that's good. Let me see, did I get it yet? Sometimes this collecting these rewards is l lags up real bad. But I'm actually, since he's a temporal agent, I'm actually collecting all temporal marks. Now, since he is 50, let's see. I could. What should I claim? Okay, claim this. Let's see what it is. Oh. I didn't realize I was going to get all of this. Okay. The lithium energy credits. A lot of expertise. Our marks. Two temporal agent upgrades. Mm. Temporal agent title. Okay, what else? Okay. So now I got all this. Now. Since I do have a Delta recruit on this, uh, on my account. Greetings. How can I assist you to? Delta recruit. Don't know why it says bring, but I haven't done the bring yet. Um. I don't understand why the Klingon Wars, because I've already completed the Klingon Wars. Completed all that. Um, who knows? As far as temporal agent, don't have to go there. Okay, let's see what I got. I could start the reps. But you know what? Since I do... I forgot because one of my characters had already, already sent some stuff over. 
Whoops. Oh well. What is that? A foregone. Anyway, got that there. Okay. So let's see. Temporal defense, don't know yet. Omega, yes. Mm, that would be. Double reputation. Yes. Okay, next one's going to be Romulus. have a special sim token for that one. I think I already, yeah. Already did the Omega. Don't have nothing for Nakari yet, which I gotta get this set up. Wherever it is. Okay. Got Ramon Service set up. Dyson, is that right? No, that's Iconian and Delta. Task Force yet. Okay, so since I already got doubles on a lot of stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I know y'all probably don't care to see this, but I'm starting it that way. If y'all have already done it, you shall know what to do. Oops. some decent ground weapons if I want to use them. Okay. Now for traits. Um, excuse my ship because I ain't going to... That's something different right now. Okay. I'm just using rifles. Probably going to end up assault weapons. Let me make sure. Is this is assault weapon rifle rifle. Let me make sure rifle eh, not assault weapons. I guess I'll probably use this one. Now the space. Let's see. If 
photonic capacitor could work. I also want to try this one for the temporal agent. Um, but hmm. You know what? Nothing else I could think of. I guess I'll do that one. And then at level 60 I will decide something else. As far as starship traits, I already got this one activated. This came from my Delta recruit. Got nothing there, nothing there, and nothing there. Um, as y'all can see, I got the Dyson ship on, but I'm not going to probably use that right now. So. I'll show you the ship's I do have listed and I kind of chose one what I wanted to use to start off with these are my ships all my tier 6 ships I got the scryer um, probably not going to use this one right off the bat I'm probably just going to use them for just the traits you know try to keep all the how should I you should say since this is a temporal agent but also a science character I'm using all of my science ships so I'm probably going to use all the science traits now this one if you look at it good trait I am going to get it of course a temporal ship I got both science temple ships. Now here's my um, well anyway temporal multi-mission science vessel. Got this one. Anyway um, what you call it. Got the long range science vessel or what you call it the um, tier 6 version of Voyager. This is a good heal, a uh, good, a uh, good trait. The experimental science vessel. That's a good trait as well. Of course, the other tier six temporal science vessel. Yes, yeah, would be a good one as well. Of course, this is just a tier five view. Dyson. A lot of people hate the Dyson. I like it if you build it correctly. Now I know this is a carrier, but it's uh, it's been geared out. If you know the ship and have flown the ship before, it's actually geared more sciency. But and you can even look at the console, the consoles selections even though it's even balanced but it's a little more science so that's why I have this on here and the trait mm, it's alright but it won't hurt now here's another the Breen uh, carrier that trait is good um for for instance, as you read this trait, hanger pets. Okay. This temple. Hanger pet. So might be good if I want to use it. So I don't know yet. I just just got it on here just for now. Now the Kremlin science vessel. Great ship. 
Um, improve feedback pulse. Mm, I don't know. But I plan to actually do a full um, build on it and go from there. Don't know what type of build, but it's a science ship, as you can obviously see based on the science councils. Now this one. I know this is more of an engineer or brain ship, but this trait right here is good in a lot of ways for science sciencey type build um like I said I might might not I don't know yet but I got it on here but the ship that I'm going to start off with since I am a temporal agent would be this now it's almost pretty much the same build like I had on the other Dyson ship but as you can see actually it is pretty much the same build however what is unique to this ship is this council right here as you can see it's a temporal science Uh, it has this, the science ability package, which this one enhanced particle generators, exact improves the exotic damage. This one shield hit points. That's a plus. Increase hull. Uh, regeneration for shields and stuff, which is another plus. Now here's this trait. It says improve polarized hull. Polarized hull clears hazards and movements, uh, impairing effects. Periodically removes movement impairing effects every one second for 15 seconds. And that's for self and self. Periodically removes hazard debuffs every of uh, one second for every 15 seconds. It might be good I don't know yet I haven't played with this ship yet don't know nothing yet I haven't tested out I haven't even finished setting it up but if I am gonna go through the temple route which I probably am I'm gonna have to take this ability with this one and I think this one's gonna be my main ship since it is anti-proton base now I'm going to end up since. And this is going to end eventually probably going to be my main ship. Because of several reasons. This right here. The reputation and the temporal defense. I'm going to end up getting everything on the temporal defense side. Okay. And the, the use chroniton weapons. And if you know about the chroniton, it's anti-proton based. Okay. So let me get back. So this is all anti-proton. I'm gonna get everything from here. Build this ship completely how it's supposed to be built with with the full temporal ability package. I mean, everything's going to be temporary. I'm going to have, when it's all said and done, I'm going to have everything like it's supposed to be. Don't think it's a secondary deflector. Haven't decided what type of secondary deflector I'm probably going for end game, but I kind of have a general idea. I already know what I'm going to do. Like I said, everything's going to be temporal based. Here, I believe they do have the elite versions, or well, not the elite, but the ultra rare version of this hangar pet. 
so I plan to get that okay of course and go from there but anyway I'm gonna have these two abilities if I'm probably going to both how should I say the both temporal abilities science ships probably going to end up yes this is going to be my third ability my probably going to have this as my fourth ability maybe mm. Mm. probably not going to have that one And if I do have that one, I probably might have this as my fifth ability. Or this one. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of figuring out. I'm just going to play it by ear. But I know I'm going to have both temporal. And this one, for sure. And this. Yeah. Both temporal ships' abilities. And a scryer. And Voyager's abilities. Anyway, that's my ship, how I'm going to end up, well, anyway, my ship right now, what I'm going to end up having. Um, what else? As far as my crew goes, I'm not really going to do nothing for right now. And this is good to start off with for right now for 50 even though he's probably a little weak but it would be good until throughout the Kardashian missions I think he's he's pretty good on the on the way he's set up um she's good I would say I say she's definitely good. Um, I might have him to my ground abilities. Uh, his as well, my ground crew, because. I looked at his traits. I think that would be a good. I mean, I'm just looking at all his ground abilities. I think he'd be great on ground. And I think I might end up changing him around since he's sciences with her. That way, I should have better help on the ground. As far as space, I'm still haven't decided. I really don't have no bridge officers for space. Now, granted, I do have because I own the Delta Alliance packages and stuff like that. I'm thinking about. Let's see. That's all ground. That one might be good. This Vulcan for my space. And Vulcan and human might be good for my space. That one's good. Brown. Ground. Ground. But anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I do have a chance for two temporal. Since he is already like this. Specialization. I got 
can make somebody two temporal officers. But I saw something like that. Maybe I looked at it wrong. Yeah, two temporal agent tech upgrades. Oh, tech upgrades. Goofing me. Okay, um... Well... Hmm... Wow... That's a lot... I'm going to save them for my rep rotation pieces and go from there because that way it doesn't cost me what that lithium I have. And fleet marks, well, that's no problem. Okay, um, screw goes, I'm not going to go ahead and do anything except for gonna promote anybody okay let me go up in space like I said I don't have no temporal powers powers and stuff like that so I don't know okay let me move oh that's a, that's a nice looking ship I'm just going to keep the ship looking as original as I can keep it I'm not going to even bother changing it. Okay. Let me set all my powers up. Okay. I'm pulling everything off. At least the temporal ships will give me a little bit more fighting power. Not much. I think this is the, the special ability. Let me make sure. What's that special ability? Nano probe containment module. Let's see. It gives me an extra six percent to exotic damage. Ten percent all damage resistant. A full. Okay, that much physical damage for twenty seconds. One, that's good. Full 50% uh, all damage for 20 seconds. Chance to apply nano probe contingent field up to six enemies within close to three kilometers. That's not too bad, but it's awfully small distance. Um, probably good against ISA when all the not the cubes, but uh, what you call them, the spheres come out because you like to come get close chance to increase every two seconds for twelve and a half percent to a hundred percent that's not bad full physical damage for every okay um everything else is pretty much standard on the abilities that everybody has probably seen in other videos 
Um, like I said, it's not like the best weapon. Phasers. Why is the phasers a so? He got me confused on this one. Let's just say... Whatever. DPS 34. I, it's probably a glitch or something. Oh, okay. Probably because of that. Okay, let me see DPS. Okay, everything's starting to level off now. Okay, let's see, this is the twin. Okay. Across the stations. Like I said, I'm not going to show you all the setup and how I want it right now, which is fine. Um, tactical. lot of tactical powers but uh, probably need to change some of these powers up um one I don't wanna yes okay this is engineering I would have the Android, but I don't have nobody signs these, so I'm probably going to go with this one. Hmm. Martyr. That definitely changes my whole playground around. Hmm. It's tactical. This is going to be something I got to figure out. Um. I am doing a photonic. No. Huh. I really don't know what to put there. But anyway, folks, um, at least I have a general idea. I like the ship. Looks cool. Almost looks like a wheelbarrow, in a way. <laughs> um, can't show y'all the powers right now. But I will show y'all that uh, probably in my next video. 
Um, this. Let me go ahead and. As y'all can see, it's not that bad of a movement. Let's see. Well. Okay, stealth detection, bonus defense, eh, shields are not that bad for right now. I mean, it's a resilient. Let's see. What's my movement? That's not too bad. Seventeen and a point mm, flight speed, but the turn rate twenty-one point three degrees per second. That's not too bad. But um, of course, y'all, if y'all seen videos of the temporal ships or play or have a temporal ship, y'all know about this package. Which is the um, shows you offense, defense, and support, and that does what it needs to do. Of course, every science ship, or well, I think almost every science ship, has a sensor analysis. I think they actually fixed that in an update. Oh, I forgot when. I know there was at one point never had sensor analysis on any science ships. And if I'm mistaken, please forgive me. But um like I said, this is a just a general video. Once I have my ideas down as far as what I'm going to do as far as ships powers and stuff like that I will show y'all in the next video but until next time folks y'all have a good one have a good night or good day or whenever y'all watching this and again live long and prosper